Hello everybody, it's Tidy1 here. In today's video, we are going to do something different today. Um, we are going to do... I'm going to talk about my Marvel vs. DC uh, fighting game list from Netflix shows. Plus, this isn't just a Marvel vs. DC. If Netflix Studios does do a game like this, this also has more combat characters in it too. So, imagine Mortal Kombat versus DC versus, uh, Marvel versus DC versus Mortal Kombat. Imagine three franchises in one fighting game. Because I've heard all kinds of different things about Marvel on Adam Studios, DC with Injustice 3, on top of Mortal Kombat 12, which, is a, which will be the sequel for 11. Um, I almost feel like that it... I mean, and it's possible it might not be, but it almost feels like they're trying to cram three franchises almost in one game. I don't know if that's what they're doing, but it is possible you can, you could do something like that. I mean, there are possibilities, and I'm pretty sure Ed Boon would love to do something like this. Having three franchise character franchises fight in a fighting game. Marvel, DC, and Mortal Kombat. Like, how cool is that? So, I'm going to show you guys a roster list I made of characters and not including characters, but I also got Mortal Kombat characters, DC characters. I even got, Mortal, I even got Marvel villains and also DC villains also on this thing too. And that's not including uh, a DLC list. So I'm going to show you guys what all I've done and hope you guys enjoy. Okay. Um, this is my Marvel list. Um, we got Captain America here. Um, obviously, Captain America has got to be in this game. We've got the Guardians of the Galaxy members, all five of the of the starting five. Now, <clears throat> I'm sure they can manage getting five of these in here because they because they all five have their own unique skill set. Or you can definitely do kind of a thing, kind of like Injustice Two, where you had the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, where you can kind of like switch around with them or Kind of like how they did with and just with those characters on that game, so you can know, you can do a thing like that with them, or you can just have them all five on there as separate for separate from one another, so they can do their own thing, and people can play with the Guardians of the Galaxy members and stuff like that, which I think would be kind of cool. So I think I would like them separate though. I don't know if I'd want them skinned or whatever else. Um, the next one I put on here is Wolverine. I feel like Wolverine has to be on here. Um, Wolverine is one of my favorite X-Men characters, and I really think it'd be cool. I think another X-Men character I did throw on here is Cyclops. Um, I think Cyclops will be a pretty good add-on to this game. Of course, everybody everybody wants to have Deadpool on here. Who wouldn't want to have Deadpool on here? Um... Deadpool, I put on here. Now, if NetherRealm Studios does do a Marvel game like this, I think they would go by the MCU list, uh, what they have, and um, what they could hopefully use. Hopefully, they can get quite a few, quite a bit of property to use on some of these characters to make the game, or if they eventually, or if that's what they're doing. Um, next character I got on here, it have on here is Daredevil. Um, I think Daredevil will be an amazing character for this game. Um, I have all f I got I put all four of the uh, Fantastic Four on here. Now, like like with the Guardians of the Galaxy, we, you can make all four of these characters separate because each four four of them have their own, you know, set their own set. Or you can do kind of like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles with those four, kind of switch them around. But I would pers I'm personally one. I don't really care much for skin 
when they do skins and stuff with that, because it, to me, I feel like it's just cheap and lazy. I just, I rather them have them separate so you can play with all four of them, because all four of them are very different, and you can definitely do a move set with those with those four. I feel like, I I think will be really cool, especially the thing. Who wouldn't want to watch? Who wouldn't want to have the thing? Who wouldn't want to have the Hulk and the thing fight against one another? Sorry, I didn't mean to bump that, guys. Um, that's what I think with this. Um, my next character I have on here is Ghost Rider. Now, I know a lot of people would love to have Ghost Rider. I know I would. <clears throat> but I think Ghost Rider would be a pretty cool character to have. Plus, um, I think it's amazing. I think it'd be cool to have. Um, a dark uh, character and stuff. Next one I have is Blade. Now, everybody, I from what I'm guessing now, from what I'm seeing now, is people are really starting with Blade because he's about to make his in. I mean, he's about to make his MCU um, debut. I mean, he's about to make his uh, MCU debut here pretty soon with a series or something going on soon. Um. I'm looking forward to uh, Mershaw, Ollie's uh, character with that. Um, next one I got is the Punisher. Um, I had a hard time trying to find good Punisher pictures, but I found one with it, just one with John Bernthal on it. And I couldn't find a decent one, so I just found one that used him. Um, Punisher, I think, would be a really cool character to have on here. Um, the next character here is Elektra. Um... Electra is a pretty cool character, I think, in my opinion. Um, pretty sure she's got a nice little fan base, too. So, yeah. Uh, Moon Knight, his TV show is about to start, so he's going to be pretty popular here, here, here shortly. So, I would I would say he would definitely be on this game. Uh, She-Hulk, uh, her series is about to start here pretty soon, so I know she's going to get pretty popular. Popular. These two definitely are going to get pretty popular when it comes um, when their series starts. Um, so I threw those two on there because I know those two characters will be pretty really cool to play with. Um, War Machine. I mean, you could kind of use him with Iron Man, um, switch him around. But um, Rhodes had different attribute uh, different adjustments and different skill sets with his than Tony's did. I mean, there were a few things that were similar to Tony's, but he was the one that had a lot of the fire, almost the firepower on his. He had a minigun on on the shoulder of it and other things. So, I think it'd be I think it'd be cool if uh, War Machine was on, War Machine came on here and was has has as a separate character. Uh, Iron Fist. I think Iron Fist should be on here. I wasn't very too big on the show on Netflix. I don't. I feel like that. I feel like there was a lot of miss missed uh, opportunities with that. Uh, if the MCU does bring him in, I mean, I'm sure he's gonna. They're gonna bring him in. But if they bring him in, hopefully the MCU does him right. And. I kind of hope if they put him in the game that they get kind of give him some uh, more uh, spotlight with with him in it. So uh, Iron Fist will be pretty cool to play with. Um, I've got Nightcrawler, which from, from the X Men. I think that Nightcrawler is a pretty cool character, especially his teleportation ability he can do. Storm, uh, Rogue. Now, the thing with Rogue, her abilities are pretty cool. Uh, all she has to do is, like, touch you, and she can pretty much kind of use your abilities, pretty much. Um, I think that'd be kind of cool for uh, Rogue to be on here and stuff, and have her kind of use people's movesets for, like, a certain time, uh, or however they would do that, her character. But I feel like her skill set would be really unique and very, very cool. So... Uh, next character I got on here is Luke Cage. I feel like Luke Cage will be pretty cool to play around with. Um, the next character here is Black Bolt. I would like to see Black Bolt 
and like Black Canary like go at it because I do have Black Canary on the DC Hero ones on this on the list because I'll go through that next after this. Um, I would love to see Black Canary and Black Bolt go at it each other because they could both kind of do the same things with their with the ability with their mouths and stuff. I just would like to see how that goes. I think it's pretty really unique. Uh, next one we got is uh, Iron Man. Who would, without a without a game like this, who, who wouldn't want Iron Man in it? We got Thor. I like to see Thor and Superman go at it. I like to see Batman and Iron Man go at it and stuff. So I, I like to see the, see that these two do. We got the Hulk. Now Hulk and Superman would be kind of fun to watch this. Uh, Black Widow, of course. We got Hawkeye. Now I was now. Hawkeye and Green Arrow, I think, is going to be kind of fun to watch. Or, uh, maybe Hawkeye and Deadshot from DC. That would be kind of interesting little thing there. We've got Spider-Man here. I know a lot of people would love to play with him. Um, we got Scarlet Witch, Wanda. We've got, uh, Falcon. Now, a lot of people were wanting to put him as, um... I like um, the fact that they have they're, they're having him become the Captain America like he is in the comics, but now that he's kind of the new Captain America, I kind of would like him to be his own character as the Falcon in this game, and have Steve Rogers the Captain America. Um, I don't know. I'm just kind of different with it, I guess. Um, I think be kind of um. With Falcon, you can, there's different move sets you can do with his character. Um, I mean, yes, they kind of would do the, do similar things, but he can fly and do different types of things with his fighting ability and stuff for whatever they have him do. I think it'd be kind of cool to have uh, Falcon like pick your character up and just like nose dive him splat on the ground as like a ability of some kind or something. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, I got Winter Soldier here, Bucky, uh, Vision, Wakanda Forever, rest in peace, Chadwick. Uh, I got Black Panther here. Um, now Black Panther and Batman, I think it'd be kind of cool to watch these two fight. Uh, not only that, but um, <clears throat> I did put um, DC's Bronze Tiger on here. And I'd love to see how that tur that fight turns out because Bronze Tiger is a, is a Bronze Tiger is pretty cool, too. Um, I got Ant-Man and Wasp. Now, you can either kind of do, like, a switcheroo or kind of a team, or kind of a, as you're, if you're playing as uh, Ant-Man, you can have her kind of do, like, assisted, assisted, like, a, like, stuff. Uh, or you can kind of, like, switch, if you wanted to switch and play as Wasp, you can do that, or play them as separate, because they both have their own separate abilities. Yes, they can both shrink, but she has, like, blasters and stuff like that, and he's just different with his. But I think it'd be kind of cool if, if these two were separate, or separate and had their own fighting ability. It'd be pretty cool to have both these characters in here. And plus, I think Wasp is a pretty cool character anyway, so. Got Doctor Strange. I like to see Doctor Strange and Doctor Fate go at it, or John Constantine. I think I think I like to see how these those three interact. Um, Quicksilver. I decided to put a speedster for the Marvel team. Somebody to go along with uh, the Flash. It'd be kind of cool to watch these two kind of go at, interact. And then last one I got here is uh, Captain Marvel. So there is a total of. There's 43 Marvel Marvel Hero characters. Okay, now we got our uh, Marvel villains. Um, I put on here Thanos. Obviously, Thanos is a pretty cool character to have. 
um, Thanos, Ultron, Loki, Doctor Doom, Ronan, uh, Magneto. Uh, I did put I decided to put Red Skull, Venom. Everybody loves Venom. Um, Mandarin, uh, Green Goblin, uh, Abomination, Judge. Uh, what the? F oh, Juggernaut. I said Judge Dread. I don't know what the heck I was thinking. Sorry. Um, Omega Red. I love Omega Red as one of my favorite X-Men villains. I feel like he's a villain that you don't really get to see used much. I think I've always seen him used a few other times on cartoons, and that's about it. He made an appearance on Deadpool 2, but a lot of people didn't realize it was actually him unless you knew him. Um... But I put him on here. Apocalypse, uh, Whiplash from Iron Man 2, Taskmaster, Electro, Red Skull, uh, Malekith uh, from Thor 2, Hela, um, Crossbones, Carnage, Ghost, uh, Baron Mordo, which is uh, the villain on Doctor Strange uh, 2. Or one of them, anyway. One that kind of one that kind of went bad after the first one. Uh, Doctor uh, Doc Ock. I put Shocker on here. I feel, I feel like Shocker kind of deserves some spotlight time. Uh, Bullseye, Rhino, Claw, uh, Iron Man, uh, Black Panther villain. Um. God, this guy's name. What is the deal with me? Um, Baron Zemo, uh, Craven the Hunter, uh, Mystique, uh, Lady Deathstrike, um, Abob uh, uh, Absorbing, uh, Absorbing Man. Now, Absorbing Man, I kind of want to see what he does with some of the DC characters, because I know he can really... I like his abilities, where because I kind of showed him a little bit on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and some... a lot on pretty cool scenes, where he can, like, touch certain objects, and it's... It, like, certain, certain objects, and it hardens his body, rather than stone, rock, diamond, any type of metal, steel, iron, um wood even um even electric even electricity which is kind of cool um yeah i find his ability is kind of cool um kingpin the leaper and then uh saber tooth so those are our villains we got here and there is a total of 42 villains on the marvel i'm trying to keep it even with uh characters so now we're moving on to the DC ones we got Superman we got Batman we got uh, Wonder Woman we got the three the three uh, we got the three started heroes there Flash Green Lantern Cyborg uh, Shazam Green Arrow Black Canary Aquaman uh, Hawk Hawk Girl and uh, Hawkman and Hawk Girl now with Hawkman and both Hawk Girl I feel like you can separate these two characters and f play with both of them, because I'm pretty sure they both have different skill sets. Yes, they both kind of carry the same weapon, and they both have probably similar abilities, but I'm sure you can create a different move set from the two and kind of create the create their own move sets different and kind of unique. So I think it'd be kind of cool to have these two both playable. <clears throat> we got Supergirl. Martian Manhunter, Blue Beetle, he's getting ready to have a movie coming out, and the guy that on Cobra Kai, uh, that Exilo actor uh, is playing him. Looking forward to seeing that, hopefully it's good. Um, Firestorm, we got Beast Boy, Starfire, Raven, Nightwing, Batgirl, John Constantine, Zatanna, got Dr. Fate, um, Red Hood, 
yeah, Red Hood. Um, oh my gosh. Uh, Red Robin. So we got Tim Drake here. Got Batwoman. Damian Wayne's Robin. Uh, Red Tornado. Batwing. Plastic Man. Booster Gold. <coughs> Star Girl. Um, I've watched I've watched some of the Star Girl series. It's okay. Her character is pretty interesting, but I really don't care too much for the show. I mean, it's okay, it's decent, but there's just some there's just some things I'm iffy on it. But I got Mr. Terrific here. I feel like Mr. Terrific would be kind of fun to have on this game. After seeing him and stuff, and what on what he does is pretty cool. And very smart, uh, genius character. I got Autumn. I figured him and uh, Ant-Man and Wasp would go at after on him, at him, but I think it'd be kind of cool to watch those three interact. How those three interact. I got Mary Marvel, which is the the female uh, Shazam uh, character that was on that one Shazam movie, uh, where the kids all had their own uh, Shazam forms and stuff. I decided to put a female one on here, too. That way, to, I'm kind of keeping the females and stuff on the game and stuff, too. Because I got quite a bit with the Marvel, too, as well. Um, I got Black Bolt, Black Lightning. I feel like Black Lightning would be cool to have. I've actually kind of enjoyed this character a little bit on the shows and stuff. Uh, Mira from Aquaman. I got uh, Red Arrow or Arsenal. Uh, Catwoman. I decided to put her on the hero side because she really just kind of bounces between hero and villain a lot. Or just whatever side she's on. Um, I put John Stewart's uh, Green Lantern on here. I fit, I know in the game, in the Injustice 2 game, they kind of, he was on there, but you had to, you can, you had to like switch him from how. I feel like you can sep make those two. Yes, they both are Green Lanterns, but I'm, you can, I know you can kind of make those characters, you know, different. I feel like you can do their moves that's different. Yes, they all do different things with their, green, their, their lanterns and stuff. How he can do his own thing. He can do his own thing. So kind of creativity with the ring move sets with these two characters. But I think it'd be cool that they, they were separated and separate characters to play around with because I know how Jordan and uh, John Stewart's um, Green Lantern are very popular. Uh, Fire, I don't knew, I didn't know much about her, but I decided to throw her on here. I've, I've actually kind of watched her a few times before, and I kind of find her character very interesting, so. We've got Superboy, Wonder Girl, Miss Martian, and Swamp Thing. Those are the heroes, and for hero, and for the heroes of, uh, DC Comics, um, there is a total of 43, um, heroes so kind of the same with the marvel I'll try to keep it even um now we got the dc villains we got lex luther dark side black adam deathstroke harley quinn sinestro reverse flash captain boomerang captain cold heat wave uh gorilla grod uh, metallo two-face bane riddler now the riddler I feel like you can create a really, a really creativity move set for him, and the reason I chose him is because, no, he's not much of a fighter, but you can kind of work with some characters like what well, certain characters like that and create their own move sets or whatever. I feel like it'd be kind of cool to create something for Riddler, so I chose I chose him on here. Um, Scarecrow, Mister Freeze, yes, I know Mister Freeze and were both Injustice, but they both had this different ice move set, so I know you can do those two separate. And two, they're very... I don't know, they just do very unique things different with their ice abilities, so I feel like you can separate those two without making them skins. Joker, of course. Killer Croc. Deadshot. King Shark. I like King Shark. He's been my favorite like animal-like villainous creature. Um... Uh, Firefly. Now, I know Firefly and Heatwave, they do both heat stuff, but I think Firefly is different, though. 
There's a few things different anyway. Uh, Lara Freeze, Atrocitus, uh, Black Manta, uh, Sportsmaster. I actually kind of like Sportsmaster's character. I was surprised they showed him on Stargirl. Um, Cersei? Or Cersei? Is that how they pronounce that villain's name? She's a Wonder Woman villain of some court. Uh, court uh, thing. I put uh, Trickster, which is a the Flash villain. I feel like I feel like he'd be like the Joker to the Flash a little bit. I feel like it would be kind of interesting to have him on here. And plus, I'm pretty sure there's some really cool things you can do with Trickster. Um, Solomon Grundy. Fandal Savage. Uh, Copperhead. Amazo. Uh, Brainiac. Br uh, ti uh, Bronze Tiger. Uh, Killer Moth. And I put uh, Dr. Silva from uh, Shazam. So there is a total of um, okay for both villains of DC and Marvel. Um, there is thirty six villains each and stuff. So I like I said I've been trying to keep keep everything even. Okay, now we're getting into the DLCs. Now. There's quite a, there are some guest characters, uh, some of them different. I chose to put Steel, so John Henry's character. Um, his character is pretty cool, uh, very different. I feel like I feel like a Superman character, a, a Superman ally would be kind of cool to have on there. As a, um, we got Deacon Frost, which is a Blade villain. I feel like it'd be kind of cool to have him on there. And if anybody wants to know, that's Dinkin' Frost. I was trying to find a picture, but I couldn't find anything. But apparently this is him in the comics. Or what he looks like in the comics, anyways. So. Uh, we got Jessica Cruz's Green Lantern. I feel like, I feel like it'd be kind of cool to have a separate uh, female Green Lantern for, you know, for females and stuff to play with if, when they played this game and stuff. I feel like it'd be kind of cool to have her. And plus... Her character pretty, was pretty cool in a Fatal Five movie, and I and I'm pretty sure you can create your own. I'm pretty sure you can create your own creativity with, uh, um, the Green Lantern character. The Green Lantern character. Um, I feel like anyway. Um, Huntress. We got Jonah Hex. Jonah Hex is pretty cool. We got Roshak from uh, Watchmen. Judge Dredd. I feel like Judge Dredd would be kind of a cool guest character on here. And plus, I didn't realize he's kind of a... He's sort of, I guess, kind of a DC character. If I was looking up stuff that with it. We got Katana from Suicide Squad. Silver Surfer. Uh, Spider-Woman. Union Jack from Marvel character. I feel like it would be kind of cool to have a British uh, character. We got Beast from the X-Men, Iceman from the X-Men, Jubilee, um, Colossus, I put Werewolf by Night on here, I think it'd be kind of cool to have a werewolf like character on here, um, Gambit, uh, White Tiger, I use uh, Ayla's, or Aya's, uh, or Ava's uh, character, I think that's how, I think that's her name, something Ava or something, uh, Captain Britain, uh, Psylocke, uh, Red Guardian. I loved him and I liked him in the Black Widow movie. I think he was probably I think he was one of my favorite characters off of that movie. <clears throat> Doomsday, Talon, Saint Walker. I feel like Saint Walker is kind of a cool character. Um, Ocean Master, Trigon. Now I decided to put. Uh, Tommy Oliver's uh, Ranger character on here. Um, one of the things I think it'd be kind of cool for him to be on this game is you can create a thing with him, like he did with the team, with the Ninja Turtles on Injustice Two, because he has five Ranger forms. You can obviously kind of do similar what you did with Turtles, where you can switch around play with Raph, Michelangelo, 
Donatello, Leonardo, you can switch around with them. Same with the Tommy's Ranger form. So you could definitely do a switch, a rain, a switch around with those. I think it'd be kind of cool. And plus, I'd be kind of cool if J.C. and Frank voiced, the, voiced that character. I mean, why wouldn't he? Why wouldn't he? But I think it'd be kind of cool to have a Power Ranger guest character on here or something. Uh, Eclipso, it's Justice League villain. Uh, Steppenwolf, Vulture, Kill Aldrin Killiage from the Iron Man 3. I like his character, is interesting. Uh, the leader, Blackheart. And then I put Cloak and Dagger on here. Now, I feel like Cloak and Dagger... Like, like you could do with Wasp, Ant-Man and Wasp. Because those two definitely work together a lot. And are... They're always together. And two, they're they're both complete packaged characters. Just like you would do with uh, the Black Widow and... Uh, not, uh, Black Canary and Green, Green Arrow's character. Um, you can definitely do... Switcheroos and play with him or her or and have him do do kind of assisted abilities or something um but i think it would be kind of cool to have these two characters or if you want to separate and have them both because they both have different abilities and so i think it'd be kind of cool to have these characters on here so to play around with so cool cloak and dagger now we're going into more combat we got sub-zero scorpion reptile ermac Snoop Saibot, Smoke, Rain, and Trimmer. I chose all eight of the ninjas because who doesn't love ninjas? And I love ninjas. I think they're cool. Uh, we got Katana, Scarlet, Melina, Tanya. Um, I have Jade here somewhere. <laughs> I don't know where she went. Where the heck did uh, Jade go? Did I not put Jade on here? I can go ahead and put her on there real quick, but I thought I put her on there. Apparently I didn't. Um, yeah, Tanya, uh, Cabal, uh, Baraka, Johnny Cage, uh, Liu Kang, uh, Kong Lao, Jax, uh, Sonya Blade, Raiden, Kitaro, Shao Kong, uh, Kinshi, um, Shang Sun, uh, Shang Sung, Quan Chi, uh, Serena from the Mortal Kombat Mythologies, uh, Sub Zero, uh, Sub Zero Mythologies. I thought it'd be cool to have her on here. Sindel, uh, Kano, Cassie Cage, uh, no, yeah, Cassie Cage, uh, Jackie Briggs, Aaron Black, K Takeda. A lot of people were liking him. Um, Um, uh, Kung, uh, Kung Jin, Cyrax, uh, uh, Sector and Cyrax, uh, Striker, Onaga, and then Jade, of course. Um, I also have, I also had Nightwolf and, um, Natar, Natar. What the hell happened to the rest of the Mortal Kombat characters? <clears throat> Hold on a second, guys. I'm not sure why they didn't come on there. Okay, uh, Night Wolf and Natar. Uh, 
Natara, I think it's her, her yeah, Natara, the little vampire, uh, thing, whatever they call her, um, yeah, that's pretty much all the Mortal Kombat characters, there is 38 characters here, um, I just think it'd be kind of cool to have these types of characters and stuff, uh, especially the ninjas, and ninjas would be kind of cool to play around with, because they're very skilled, and two, I think they'd be kind of fun to interact with uh, DC and Marvel characters and stuff. All the Mortal Kombat characters would, actually. So, I just think it'd be kind of cool to have these characters and do that type of thing. So, um, I think that's it, guys. That's pretty much it for all what I got here. Um, because I actually worked on this project for a while. Um... So anyways, um, that's pretty much my list that I made. Um, for those of you that like the list or uh, what y'all think of it, and you know, there's it's a possibility they won't put all those characters on there, but I'd love to see all those characters get put on there because I think it'd be cool to have a big old roster like that. I think it'd be massively huge and cool. Um, but due to licensing and things like that, hopefully, hopefully they... Hopefully they get that. It'll get that figured out. So I've done. If you see this video, that is my roster list. I would love to see you make a roster list like that. If you're doing a Marvel or versus DC and Mortal Kombat like game, or have a big open franchise game like that from from their own studios, I think it'd be cool. Really awesome. Um, I would love to see how that turns out. Um, I think that's it for today's video, guys. Uh, post a comment section below of what you guys think of this video, what you think of the roster, and how it would look, and what your thoughts are on it, and uh, what characters you like to play with, and because because you, know, you know this thing can, this game can actually happen uh, having a crossover event like this. So. Um, okay. Hit the like button if you liked the video, and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. As always, I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.